Visible recently launched support for eSIM on iPhone. This lets you activate the embedded SIM card on your iPhone, and it's one of the best ways to try out the Visible service before committing to their plan. In this video, I'm covering the four-step activation process, including downloading the Visible application and making sure your device is compatible, creating your Visible account, downloading your eSIM profile, and transferring your number once you've confirmed Visible works for you. I'll also be covering troubleshooting steps if you run into issues. With that said, let's get into it. If you haven't already, download and install the Visible application, which you can find linked in the video description. Some welcome screens will tell you more about the service, and when you're ready, tap Get Started. Here, we'll get a little splash screen indicating we are eligible for a $100 prepaid MasterCard when we switch and transfer our number, although this may change depending on the current promotions available at the time. Step one is to make sure your phone is compatible with the Visible network. If Visible detects you've got an iPhone with eSIM, you'll get a pop-up with more information about eSIM and how it works. The first step here is to enter your IMEI. This is a unique number that basically just identifies your device on the network. You can find your IMEI under Settings, General, About, and by scrolling down to the bottom of the page. One thing to note is that you will see two IMEI numbers here. One IMEI number is for the physical SIM card, while the other one is for eSIM. Make sure you copy the IMEI for the eSIM, which is labeled Digital SIM. Jumping back to the Visible app, and it should automatically recognize the IMEI in your clipboard and prompt you to use that number. Tap yes, and then tap next. Now onto step two, which is creating your Visible account. Here, you're gonna enter your first name, last name, email address, and create a password. Then you'll be asked to enter your billing address. Finally, you check out. eSIM activations are automatically assigned a new number. You can transfer your existing number to Visible after the activation. When I filmed my activation, Visible was charging the full $40 price, but they are currently offering a promotion where new customers get their first month for just $25. Now is also the time where you can enter a friend's referral code. You're also welcome to use my referral code or to check the comments section of this video to see if anyone else has shared their referral code. Turn on or off auto pay if you wish and then choose your payment method. You'll have the option to review your order and your total for today. When you're ready, accept the terms and conditions and activate your service. The app will automatically proceed to step three, which is downloading your eSIM profile. You'll get a few prompts during this process. Tap continue to install the visible eSIM profile and tap update if you get the option to update your carrier settings. You may also get a pop-up asking you to update your contacts. This is basically asking which phone number you would like to use as the default phone number for outgoing calls and texts. Tapping update contacts now will have your phone default to using your new visible number. Tapping Decide Later lets you choose which number to use later in the Settings app. And some of you may have a third option that says Keep Primary. This will let you continue to use your personal number in the physical SIM tray as your default number, which is probably what you want to select at this time. You may get a second pop-up asking you to update your contacts to the number you selected, in which case you'll likely want to update all. You'll get a pop-up that says waiting for activation, and then a few moments later, you'll get a final pop-up that says iPhone is activated. And that's it. Your visible eSIM is now active and ready to use. Visible suggests you restart your device, but I tested making a phone call and doing a speed test, and I found everything was working fine for me. Restarting may be a good idea though, just to be safe. From here, you can test out the visible service for as long as you need to make sure it's a good fit for you. And if it turns out it is a good fit and you'd like to transfer your number, you can do so by jumping back into the visible application. All you're gonna do is tap find out how to transfer your existing number. Visible will give you a quick overview of the process, as well as a short video that outlines the steps. What you're gonna do is enter the number to be transferred, your current carrier, your account number and PIN, and your billing zip code. Visible will give you the opportunity to confirm the details are correct, and if everything looks good, tap submit. From here, Visible will reach out to your current provider and request your phone number be transferred. Visible will automatically cancel your service with your previous carrier once the transfer is complete. Number transfers can take anywhere from a couple minutes to even up to a couple days. In my case, Visible said the transfer was gonna take an estimated 24 hours. I initiated the transfer at 2.06 p.m. I received an email at 2.09 that the release of my phone number was approved and it should be ready to activate. However, at this time, the service was still not active. Then at 3.40 p.m., I noticed the service returned to my Visible line. Calls and data worked, but texts weren't going through. 
I did a quick restart, and by 3.50 p.m., the service was completely active. Texts, calls, and data were working fine for me. Overall, I had about an hour and 40 minutes of downtime before my transfer was complete and my service was up and running again. This was just my timeline though, and your timeline may be a little different depending on which carrier you're porting from and other factors. The last thing you're gonna wanna do is join my party best phone plans to get locked into that $25 per month party pay discount. You can join at the link in the video description or you can simply go to your account settings, scroll down to party pay, enter best phone plans, and submit a request. I'm accepting all applications, and the party currently has over 100 members and growing. This is really awesome to see, and it means anyone can join or leave at any time, and it won't impact the billing of the other members. Finally, the one big issue I ran into during my activation process is when I was entering my billing address, the app kept throwing me error codes. I found my solution was to reach out to a visible support agent have them cancel my current eSIM order, and this let me place a new order, which went through perfectly fine. If you run into issues, I suggest you either cancel your order and try again, or reach out to Visible Support to see if they can help. Either way, that's it for this video. Click the like button if you found this video helpful. Share this video with one friend so they can test out Visible on eSIM. I'm Stetson. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.